It might not be a group race, race number eight, but it does have one very exciting horse lining up in it. It's the Amber Handicap. It's over 1,200 metres and it's for the Class 3 runners. Royal Pride has his second start. Keller B, enormous last time. He carries an extra five pounds for that win. Tianchi Monster's coming back further in distance from the 14 to the 1,200. Dublin Star goes up six pounds for his last start win. Course and distance. Hurry, hurry game. Mucus after a disappointing last start effort was the reason for that run. Ella Gear, class four winner and a class three third at his last two. Bella Fion, Victor claims five and Momentum Galaxy, 25 career starts. Just his third visit though, Tom, to Shartin. And the pace here comes from a Beauty Amiga who's likely to be up there. Pace probably won't be overly strong. Our class actors are drawn out to wide and 13, so he might slide across if he can. McGinnity shouldn't be too far away. Hurry, hurry, gain should be somewhere close as well. You've got Alagir on that three wide line. Likewise, Sir Killer B. Tianchi Monster will be back, but probably suspect at 1,200 metres. All the talk is going to be about Killer B in this race, and his trainer is, of course, Casper Founds. You also have Killer B engaged on Sunday. That was an enormous win from him last time. Crazy win. I uh, wasn't too happy in the first part of the race, but uh, the last part certainly uh, showed us what, what type of horse he's going to be. Same thing again, he's drawn out in gate seven. Lucky we're on the A course. I'd just like to ride him a little bit conservative and just have him taught a bit better, you know, just to be sort of in the midfield with cover and then see what we got. Again, you know, you're carrying a big weight but he's a horse that's got a great future. Did he bounce back straight after that race or it took him a couple of days to recover? Yeah, he's been really well. I just basically, he was ready to go, you know, a couple of weeks earlier, but I just looked at the program and said, right, we'll go for this and then see what happens. Maybe run him one more time after this if he, if he, if he does his job but on Sunday. He goes up five pounds in weight, so you were somewhat looked after by the handicapper only getting five for the run that it was. Yeah, yeah, he got nine on ratings itself, but uh, yeah, I mean, he's a horse that, again, you know, they can't keep killing these young horses. They've got to, got to help them through the grades. And when you have a good one, you know, obviously the, a lot of them are going to get big penalties as they perform and start winning by big, big margins. But um, I don't think he beat much last start, but the way he did it was pretty impressive. Metro Warrior was the horse that he did beat home. He's raced consistently enough. A couple of his race arrivals here, Paul, and we're going to start out with Dublin Star, who's a consistent horse, and he was too good for war weapon in this, and we'll see him in the last. Yeah, look, he was held up uh, as well, Dublin Star, and once he got that gap, he uh, hit the line really strongly, and it was a really nice run here from uh, Dublin Star. Uh, look, he's always showing things. In his earlier in his career, he used to do a lot of things wrong uh, in, at the start. But uh, since then, he's really matured and uh, to put everything right, came through and won nicely. So, look, I found a spot for him. And he was going away from them at the line too, even though War Weapon was closing. He was uh, running away from the main body of the field there at the end, uh, was uh, Dublin Star. So I think he's certainly got to be considered the way he's been going. He's been very consistent. Hurry, hurry, gain. Tom was so good winning two starts ago and the time before that as well. There had to be something for that 11th behind the Hulk. He had a system full of mucus. What did you make of his trial since? Yeah, he was pretty ordinary last time out, wasn't he? Zach set up on a, a long way from home. This is the trial here behind uh, Shadow Run. Hulk, I thought he stayed on well enough over the, the final stages uh, here, but wasn't put under too much uh, pressure. So I'd be expecting him to about bounce back here, Paul, because that run last start was too bad to be true. Yeah, and he really did have that excuse. And prior to that, his three runs have all been full of merit and winning two of the three of them. So, look, I think he's the Quinella horse for me. Killer B will have the favourite punters buzzing, Paul. I think he's going to come down like a champagne supernova down the outside there, uh, Killer B. So he's on top uh, for me from uh, Hurry Hurry Gain. Uh, Dublin Star will get him in there for third. And then Tornado Twist hasn't been uh, there about, so he hasn't been too far away in his recent runs. But I think it's around the top three, in particular the top two. Two, five, four and nine. 254, my top three numbers as well. I've also added a number six, and Big Energy has, hasn't been too far away, but Killer B will be tough to beat. Hurry, hurry, gain, I think, can bounce back after that uh, poor run last time out. Dublin Star, and Big Energy, look, he hasn't been too far away, beaten one and three quarters, three and a quarter is last, a couple behind the runner, and also Killer B. So 254 and six. He is more than likely going to be the shortest-priced favourite of the day. He's currently at 2.2, is Killer B to win again.